Hey everybody on Facebook and uh, online on the web stream, Jerry Ferguson and Aaron White still up here in the Penguin Aaron Plumbing News Shop. I'm in for Bruce Hafner. Uh, this morning we're watching the Phoenix Trotting, Trotting Park. This was the uh, racetrack out in West Phoenix. The end of an era as uh, the demolition begins. Well, I guess the demolition really began a while ago, but the actual demolition uh, is happening today or starting today. Uh, the, the demolition of the building. They've been working on it for a while, taking out some of the interior structures and that kind of thing. Uh, but they're actually starting in earnest on the actual demolition of the structure today. Pretty fascinating to watch. They've got a, a few different trucks down there. And if we have any uh, heavy equipment operators or people that are more knowledgeable about the names of all of these equipment, uh, this, these uh, p pieces of equipment, Please chime in. I don't claim to be an expert on these, uh, all this equipment, but I can tell you, uh, this truck over here, it's got kind of a, a barrel-looking device on the end of it. That barrel, uh, they spray water. There's a huge fan with some water jets, and it sprays out water. You can see the ground is a little bit uh, damp down there. Uh, they spray the water around the area so that they can keep the dust down. This is just off of the... Uh, I-10 and the 303 out here. Let me zoom out here and show you. There's the I-10 uh, just going along. And a, a lot of you have probably seen this structure, this weird kind of space-age looking 60s, 50s, 60s uh, style structure out there. Looks like a kind of a grandstand uh, off of the, uh, to the, just to the south of I-10 as you head out to California, just hit the edge of, of Phoenix area. That's coming down today. And you see, it uh, looks like some guys are hooking up some water to the water, uh, kind of these water cannons. Again, I don't know the names of all this particular pieces of equipment, but A huge, huge excavator with some demolition equipment on the front. It looks like it's got uh, some some of the biggest jaws for crushing things that I've seen on one of those excavators. Look at the claw on that thing. Looks like a, just a giant like lobster claw. It can just rip and tear and pinch uh, concrete and steel. And you can see it's already started on that corner there. And it looks like they've got a smaller excavator that kind of uh, comes in and scoops the debris away. And I'm sure that they've got a specific method to doing all this so that it's safe. You can see the roof structure there collapsed as they uh, do it in a controlled, or try to do it in a controlled manner. But still, I would imagine this is a, a somewhat dangerous job, or risky job anyway. But I'm assuming that they've got procedures. You said the, uh, and the cab uh, driver had a, like a shield on the front, training. right, Jerry? Yeah, you can see down this cab is uh, reinforced. It's got Pop a grate on the on cab the down there. And you can see the scale, just how huge that excavator is. Those two were... Uh, Oh wow, Two see, workers yeah, on the back. The That's a pretty big excavator to reach up to the top and pull down and, and uh, crush the steel beams and, and concrete. Aaron, my pilot, was just saying He's heard that uh, some of these excavator operators have some of the highest job satisfaction. I would imagine that would be pretty satisfying operating all of that equipment. I got some uh, onlookers over here on the side of the road here watching the demolition. Kind of a historic event. That's true. It is kind of the end of the era, and yeah, we see some folks over on the on the road, quite a ways away, looks like there's some folks that are stopped outside the cars to watch. Got the cameras out. There's a few people out on the uh, the roadway here. 
nearby watching. We've got a bird's eye view up here. All right, they're getting the water cannon pointing at the, maybe they're getting ready to go. So once again, demolition has begun on the Phoenix Trotting Park. That's that structure that kind of looks like a stadium grandstands out on the west side of town along I-10 as you head out to California, back and forth from California. We're giving you a live look. Looks like they're gonna start on the west side of that structure and probably continue over to the east or maybe they'll take it corner by corner. But like I said, they've probably got it all planned out. I would imagine there'd have to be a lot of planning that goes in to place uh, in, a, uh, t in order to do this in the safest manner and not have this collapsing on workers and that kind of thing. Must have been pretty cool back in the day in the 70s for the two years this was open to actually see a horse race out here. Maybe not in the middle of summer. I think that's probably why part of the reason it didn't do very well. And I remember visiting out here when I was a kid. I could be wrong, but I, I seem to remember they had a the swap meet out here. Yeah, the I-10 wasn't out here. It was Van Buren that brought you out this way. So this was the yeah. only way to get out here, so there wasn't really good access. I remember they filmed a scene from a 90s movie, The Getaway, out in front of the trotting park. I think they filmed a couple of movies using this as a location. All right, I got one of the water cannons going now. That's a good sign. So here's one of those uh, water cannons. Oh, oh they maybe. just had it. They had it going. Testing it. So they were just testing it out. Spraying some water. So check that out. Here's. Here's what that looks like when this water, I, I'm calling it a water cannon. I'm sure there's a, a, a an equipment name for that thing, but check that out. It's basically, uh, yeah, it looks like a cannon, a big barrel uh, type of device on the end of that excavator arm, large fan, and uh, it sprays out water all over the, whatever they're demoing in the surrounding area so that they can minimize the amount of dust that's kicked up. Interesting. Looks like they just got a hose hooked up to that. Here's that smaller excavator, which is still huge. Picking up all the scrapped steel and some of the concrete debris. That's a pretty huge demolition project. I'd imagine that each how long you think this will take these projects a couple days maybe to yeah, get the whole thing probably down? take a few days. They they demoed a building near our hangar up at Scottsdale Air Park and what did that take a couple weeks or so? a few weeks, uh, but they had a lot of interior structures and equipment that they had to take out. 
I would imagine that this is similar. There's a lot of seats and steel railings and that kind of thing in there.